a cold case cracked. Natalie Shublin was found murdered in the basement of her Bedford home in 1971. It wasn't until 1999 that new FBI technology got a hit on fingerprints from the crime scene. And it was another 20 years before a Middlesex cold case unit used those prints to track down a suspect, a man now under arrest. WBZ's Ken McLeod is live outside the courthouse in Woburn, where, Ken, that suspect is going to be arraigned tomorrow. Yeah, that 76-year-old man got a knock on his door in Salem this morning as the police arrested him for a crime that happened half a century ago. Now, he's not a new face in the investigation, Lisa, as you mentioned, but police will finally put him before a judge here tomorrow morning. We do not give up. It was the DA's cold case unit that made the arrest today, finally charging a suspect for the brutal murder of a woman in this Bedford home 50 years ago. I'm hopeful that the family members who have lived so long without answers will finally find some closure. Natalie Shublin was 54 when her bank president husband returned home on a June Thursday in 1971 and found her bound, gagged, and stabbed to death in the basement. Mrs. Shublin was face down on the floor. Her ankles were tied together. The case was unsolved for 30 years when computer advances matched a left thumbprint from the victim's stolen car to Arthur Massey, a career criminal who was brought in for questioning. He allegedly claimed that he had been solicited by an organized crime associate to murder the wife of a banker and to make the murder look like a break-in. The suspect told police he turned down that job, and while detectives believed he was their man, they didn't think they could make it stick until they recently located an old girlfriend of his. She told the police that Mr. Massey habitually carried a knife and that he had bragged to her that he had previously killed someone with a knife. Massey was arrested this morning for Shublin's murder, and the DA made the call to the victim's son and daughter, now in their 70s. This is a very bittersweet day. The victim's son didn't want to talk publicly about the case tonight. Then the DA mentioned several times today that we'll learn an awful lot more about this case when the suspect is arraigned here tomorrow. Live in Woburn tonight, Kevin McLeod, WBZ News.